As part of Philippine Coast Guard continues capability upgrade, PCG identifies improvement of its ability to see and monitor our country's maritime borders. With this, PCG proposed the building of 21 coastal radar stations, which can detect, observe and monitor the movement of ships several miles away from our coastlines. This implementation is part of Coastal Radar Station's Phase 1 project of the Philippine Coast Guard. According to the Philippine Coast Guard, there is an urgent need to enhance the Philippines' maritime domain awareness to monitor its territorial and contiguous waters. The PCG's Coast Guard Weapons, Communications, Electronics, and Information System Command have identified the need for 140 radar stations in order to come up with the whole picture of the country's maritime domain. Due to limited budget, the southern Philippines, with some of the more popular tourist spot destinations and busy sea lanes, is the priority area for the establishment of the radar systems. Most of the prioritized radar locations are in the Zambonga, Basilan, and Sulu area. 21 radars were prioritized under PCG's assessment as part of the first batch to be constructed nationally. The project is divided in several procurements, among these are the construction of the 21 Coast Guard radar station buildings, the 10 radar station systems publicly tendered, and the 11 radar systems donated by the Japan International Cooperation Agency as grant aid. The systems purchased by the PCG includes a radar, AIS base receiver, coastal camera with day-slash-night capability, towers, at least 21 meters high, various base and marine band radios, hardware, software, CCTV systems and power sources for each radar station. PCG technical specifications have a specified radar Furuno brand and model to match the radar systems donated by JICA. Furuno and ICOM are the brands used for the various surveillance equipment. Based on information from Philippine Coast Guard and MAX defense sources, several of the radar station buildings have already been completed, although several are still scheduled for construction as of early 2021. With the PCG stating that they have identified 140 radar stations in order to come up with the whole picture of the country's maritime domain, here are some PCG projects proposed last 2019 for the 2020 budget but not funded yet by the national government. First, construction of Coast Guard radar stations with the proposed budget of 1.62 billion pesos. This would allow the PCG to construct more radar stations to eventually meet the 140 radar stations needed to cover the entire country. Second, procurement of Coast Guard radar equipment with a proposed budget of 2.7 billion pesos. This is related to the construction of radar stations. Third, beyond the horizon radar with a proposed budget of 400 million pesos. This system is far more capable than standard coastal radars due to its wider and longer detection range, which would allow to see beyond the country's territorial waters and into its exclusive economic zone, together with other assets like aircraft, ships and satellites. And lastly, interagency harmonized and enhanced surveillance, enforcement, and development capabilities for the West Philippine Sea and Philippine Rise with a proposed budget of 5.6 billion pesos. This is something that could help enhance interoperability with other agencies including the Armed Forces of the Philippines AFP, the Philippine National Police Maritime Group PNP Merrick, the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources BFAR, and other agencies involved in monitoring the West and East Philippine Sea including the Philippine RISE.